This is the Com Marker B4 60 Watt Fiber Laser Engraver. This MOPA JPT laser is the next level in your laser engraving journey. Whether you're creating custom jewelry, engraving serial numbers on industrial parts, or branding promotional items, this laser engraver excels at all things metal. In this review, we'll be taking a look at the features of the Com Marker B4 MOPA 60 Watt Fiber Laser Engraver, the rotary tool and the enclosure, and putting them to the test with a wide range of materials. So let's get started. Welcome back to Space Age Tech, where we look at the tech that pushes the limits. First, let's unbox the unit. The first thing we see is a laser shield to protect our eyes while the machine is in use. Next, we have some paper stock and a very nice metric ruler. Then we have our trusty manuals and a quick start guide and a very nice thank you card from Com Marker. We also have a 100 mm field lens and a 200 mm field lens. These determine the engraving size area respectively. In this case, the smaller lens gives you greater accuracy. Next, we have our power adapter, data cable, and foot switch. Then we have some very nice complementary materials. We have a couple of dog tags, some business cards, and other goodies. And this is the assembly for the auxiliary holder, which allows you to use the machine handheld. We also have safety glasses. Again, use them at all times when the machine is in use. This is our lifting pole. We'll mount our laser head onto this. Next, we have the laser head itself. Today, we're reviewing the 60 watt version, but Com Marker also offers a 20, 30, and 100 watt option as well. With this package, we also received a rotary tool, which we'll use later. You can use this tool to engrave cylindrical items like tumblers, rings, etc. And this is our base. Uh, here's where a lot of the magic happens. It contains our circuit module and our JPT laser source. The lid is our laser bed. It's perforated, but on the underside it's sealed so no metal dust or debris can damage the machine. And here we can see the inner workings of our JPT laser source. Assembly is pretty straightforward. We are basically only needing to attach the lifting pole and the laser head and plugging it in. If you need help with assembly, Com Marker does have a very useful two minute video on their YouTube page. And here's our fully assembled unit. As you can see, the design is pretty clean cut. What you're getting here is some serious power and durability. The B4 has a service life of 100,000 hours, which is amazing compared to a diode laser, which is usually between 25 to 50,000 hours. And with 60 watts, you're getting a lot of power. This is a pretty compact laser at 13.2 inches wide, 21.6 inches long, and 25 inches tall. But it's 48.5 pounds, so it's definitely solid. Let's take a look at the enclosure. You can choose to purchase this accessory separately for additional safety. This is especially useful if you have a home workshop and are concerned about people who may walk by without proper eye protection. It also has a noise reduction effect, taking it from 80 decibels to 30 decibels. Again, if you have an in-home workshop, your family will thank you. Installation and assembly is pretty easy. We just have to put the panels together with these brackets and decide which way you want your door to open according to your setup. This decision is probably the hardest part. In the back of the unit, we have a 50 millimeter diameter wiring hole and an 80 millimeter diameter 
smoke outlet if you want to attach it to a fume extractor or bent it out of a window. Here's our fully assembled enclosure. This is a pretty sturdy enclosure. All the columns are aluminum alloy. The door is made of laser protective acrylic OD6 PMMA. On the top of the enclosure, we have an LED light. It's controlled with a light switch on the right hand side of the enclosure. Let's use the enclosure while engraving. Here you can see the laser very clearly. You would definitely need your safety glasses if the door is open. Once we close the door, we can see the laser being filtered. For the remainder of this review, we'll use a COM marker before 60 watt without the enclosure so you can see the progress of our projects a little more clearly. Let's start by focusing the machine. We're using the up and down buttons on the front of the machine to bring the laser head down. So let's get started with our test. We'll start with mirror polished stainless steel. For software, we're using Lightburn with the Galvo license, which runs at about $150 currently. This laser can mark a wide range of materials at lightning speed, including metals like stainless steel, aluminum, brass, plastic, ceramics, leather, and more. It can produce vibrant colors on stainless steel and high contrast engraving on anodized aluminum. Here we're trying the mirror polished stainless steel so we can test to see which colors we're able to obtain. MOPA or Master Oscillator Power Amplifier lasers can engrave in color because of the high power generated at different frequencies and the introduction of air. The laser beam changes the optical appearance of the surface that it strikes. In the case of stainless steels, you can see we're getting some beautiful blues, purples, browns, and yellows. This is not the full spectrum, but we would need to do more testing to find the full range of color. You can potentially create full color designs. Let's see what colors we're able to get on galvanized sheet metal. For many of the diode lasers we've tested so far, we are lucky to even mark this material. We are very excited to see some purples, blues, yellows, reds, browns with galvanized sheet metal. This opens up a lot of possibilities to bring unique products to the market. For our next test, we'll try copper. And this is an example of us running a marking test on copper. This material needs extensive testing because it absorbs heat very well. So we ran multiple engraving and cutting tests. This sheet has a thickness of 0.5 millimeters. These are the results of all our tests. We were able to get a few shades of color and we were able to mark a Celtic knot. We also tried cutting this material, but would need a few more passes. For our next test, we'll try engraving an aluminum business card. We'll try an intricate Celtic knot design. This clip has been sped up, but the comm maker has an engraving speed of up to 10,000 millimeters per second, which is just awesome. Time is money and this machine can help you boost your production. This is our completed business card. This is flawless. We were definitely pleased with the result. We know the COM marker B4 really shines with metal, but let's try other materials as well. We'll run an engraving test on ABS plastic. We are attempting our Celtic knot design. This is the result of our ABS engraving. We experience melting on this material, so our design is not clear at all. Next up, we'll try engraving on black tooling leather. We did not run an engraving test for this material. Whenever possible, you should run an engraving or cutting test. This will ensure that you have the best settings for the material you're using. 
here we're pretty much taking a gamble. Let's see if it pays off. So we were definitely able to mark leather. However, it's not a very good result and we would need to run a material test. Let's move on to engraving on a rock. This is a challenging material, not because of its composition, but because of its shape. Since the item is not completely flat and leveled, we will get some variance on the focus of our engraving. So let's take a look at the result of our rock engraving. As you can see, we lost some of the design to the shallow part of the rock. This is where the rock is farthest away from the laser head. Let's try our rotary tool. This tool allows you to do 360 degree engraving on cylindrical items. In this case, we're doing a coated stainless steel tumbler. This small test was relatively fast. What we're looking for here is that there's no distortion in the design. This tool allows you to rotate the item while keeping it focused. For our last test, let's try engraving on glass. This is slightly tinted glass, but we should also be able to engrave on clear glass, which is something that diode lasers definitely can't do. Let's take a look at the results. We had a pretty clear engraving on this, even though there are grooves within the glass. Overall, pretty good results. Let's take a look at all the tests we've done so far. There are some like this ring where we didn't catch it on camera, but we can see the results here. We used the rotary tool and it came out pretty nice. Although we were able to engrave on our rock, the centering and positioning needs improvement. We did not have much luck on tile since the surface was burnt off. We also tried cork, but we ended up just getting scorching. Leather was promising, but we need more material tests to figure out the correct settings. Our next material is silicone. This one did slightly better than leather for the first try. Next, let's take a look at our second ABS plastic test. This definitely turned out much, much better than our first try. Now, let's take a look at our metal starting with copper. We were able to engrave in a lot of different shades with this material, as well as carve pretty deeply into it. For galvanized steel, we got an impressive array of colors. We also had some pretty colorful results on polished stainless steel. For our last test, we engraved on a cup with our rotary tool. We were able to get pretty clean engravings on different settings. Overall, we love that the Calm Marker B4 60 Watt Mopad Fiber Laser Engraver is compact and efficient. Throughout our tests, we were able to appreciate the high precision and quality of this machine, especially the color marking capability. Thanks to the MOPA fiber technology, the B4 can achieve vibrant markings on stainless steel, which gives you the ability to create very unique designs. The Calm Marker B4 60 Watt JPT MOPA fiber laser marking machine combines precision, versatility, and ease of use. Ideal for small businesses aiming to enhance their product offerings and branding. We'll be reviewing this and other amazing technology in our upcoming videos. If you like this one, please like and subscribe, it really helps our channel grow.